You are now tuned in to the latest and the greatest on the Android system, the channel which gives you information every day and every way possible. Today's video is about how you can transfer your messages from one device to another device. Um, stay tuned, don't go anywhere, and I'll be right back. So the first thing you want to do is get the device that you're actually using right now. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into settings. Once you get into settings, you're going to go into um, backup and reset. Right here, when you're inside of this screen, you're going to look for the button that says LG backup. You're going to go ahead and click that. And then you're going to click receive data. After you click receive data, you're going to click here. It says select an old device. So you could choose LG device, other Android device, or OS device. Make sure you have that device next to you, and we'll begin right after this. So once you click the device that you're going to use to, to throw your new files and messages inside of your phone, it says select how to receive the old device. The data from it make sure your LG backup make sure you have LG backup on your old device or download it from the Google Play Store so now we can actually receive data wirelessly once we've downloaded it from the Google Play Store is press the receive data wirelessly button and then you're gonna see this message it says number one on the old device go to LG and backup and send data. Tap the send wirelessly button to start. Before I could actually go to the device with the uh, the one that's going to send the information, I had to update my LG mobile switch on my other device first. And it there says there's an October 27, 22 uh, fix issue where Kakao talk data could not be restored. So now that um now that i've actually installed the update i'm able to do it now with um the, the old phone and th that was the update i had to just had to do and it says it installed it's the version 6.10.25 32 megabytes for the um update right here and then this is the old device again it says the mobile switch um, update complete so I can get rid of that alright so I have the new device on the left and the old one on the right and um, basically what's happening is I'm gonna send the data from this one to this one wirelessly I've already put it in the receive option here and now it's gonna be the send option here so we're gonna click uh, transfer data from old device send wirelessly and start <clears throat> and then it asks me what device am I sending the information to um, it's gonna be the stylo 3 and then it says invitation to connect to the stylo 2 plus and I'm gonna click uh, accept and now it'll say do you want to receive the information and I'll say yes so that's actually um, loading data to backup and now it's actually taking the personal data from this device and putting it in the, the new device from the Stylo 2 Plus to the LG Stylo 3. You can see I've got all the data here that is going to be um, back um, actually sent to the device. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to uncheck downloaded apps because I don't want that data in there. And then I'll just click next. So now it says it's zipping the information from the Stylo 2 Plus to the LG Stylo 3.
and I'm not going to make you guys wait for this entire process. So let me just put the phone down and I'll press pause and we'll be back shortly. It's actually going through the information really quick here. And you could check out my videos in the channel of how LG Backup works. It's uh, They've been updating the, the app for quite some time now. And as you can see, this one has 182 megabytes zipping over to the new device, which is the LG Stylo 3. And this one says waiting for data. It's on step one now. This one says it's on step one as well. It, this one says it's connected to the LG. It zipped over the personal data already. And the LG app data is zipped over and the settings is zipped over now. So now it says on the, on the left side, it says that the LG is now receiving the data. And you can see them both doing their thing here. This is the first time I've ever, the first time I've actually ever attempted to um, transmit data wirelessly. So this is actually really cool for me to see how it works. Let me put this back on the tripod. So this is really useful because you could send pretty much any data to, to one from one device to another device and it doesn't actually have to be an LG. All you need to do is download the LG backup app from the Play Store and you could do it from an iPhone to another Android device or use an LG with the LG um, software that, that it does provide for you. So this isn't designated for LG devices. This is actually designated for any smartphone um, that you want to actually take advantage of and use to transfer apps, data, pictures, text messages, media data, personal data, uh, settings information. Um, it could save all your home screens, all your lock screens, everything like that. The information is almost at 90% here, as you can see, and it's moving to step two in the process on both phones. They're actually head to head in the preparation process, and we're almost um, completely finished here. It says it's at 100% on both devices. So um, now that it says complete on the one that was transferring the information, to the LG Stylo 3. On the Stylo 3, you could see now it's saving the information um, after the information was already sent from the Stylo 2 Plus. So I'm gonna wait for that to actually load up. And it's almost four quarters of the way through now. It looks like it's on the third step, 34% here. Let's go and check out this device. This one already says, um, you know, completed. And you can see all, uh, that this is done right here. So this 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 phone is finished doing what it had to do. I could click done now, and now it's um, this device I'm waiting for 93%. And now it says it's done. Um, insert SD card with previously saved images, videos to save data in gallery. Some may not be saved, such as the time a photo was taken, memories favorites and preferred albums. So now that it, that, that is completed, um, it says here that I've saved personal data, LG apps and media storage. So I'm gonna, it's gonna re require me to reset the phone. So I'm gonna click that button and uh, it takes me to the life is good screen. LG life is good powered by Android. So we got the Cricut wireless animation on the screen. And if this is your first time ever um, backing up a phone, just follow the steps in this video and um, you'll be able to easily 
um, recover any text messages and transfer them from one phone to another with this process. Go ahead and check out some of my other videos on the LG backup app because um, I thoroughly thoroughly explain some of the steps that you actually um, can use to actually um, update the software as well. So now um that's it. I'm pretty much inside of my new my new phone and all the text messages that were on this device are now on this device. As you can see, I've got way more text messages here than I did before and that's what what I wanted to have all my messages here and that's that's really awesome. That's actually really really cool. So um thank you for watching staying tuned and checking out the channel um this is um you could go ahead and click the like button on your way out as well but um you've just tuned in to the latest and the greatest on the android system the channel which gives you information every day and every way possible in the meantime have a great morning afternoon evening depending on where you are and good night i'll see you guys later peace